Hey guys, today we're going to discover that Apple is not as secure as they think they are. So I'm running Ubuntu 20 right now, and I'm going to fire up a terminal. I'm using an exploit called CheckRain, which is a bootloader exploit that Apple has not been able to fix yet. So I will run it with sudo. Then we get this text-based interface that tells me my iPad is plugged into my computer and running in normal mode. TechRain is pretty intuitive and it tells you what to do. If you just follow the steps, you'll have a, a jailbreaking device. So first, CheckRain puts the device in recovery mode automatically. Then to make it accept the jailbreak, you have to put it in another mode called DFU mode by holding down some buttons as CheckRain instructs you. First the home button and the top button and then let go of the top button, but keep holding the home button. Just wait and check rain will do the rest for you. You'll notice when the device boots, you'll see um, some terminal commands start scrolling down in the top left corner of the screen. And if you notice on Apple, there's the Checkmate logo, or CheckRain, sorry. CheckRain will tell you that you are done, and then you can just log into your iPad, or whatever device you're using. If everything went correctly, the CheckRain app will be installed on the device, and then you can install the Cydia package manager. Right there. When you open the Cydia app for the first time, you will see a notification asking you to update packages, and you can go ahead and do that. Go ahead and restart Springboard. What we're going to do is we're going to install OpenSSH, which is a program for accessing another device via a terminal. Next, you can reopen the Cydia application and go to the Search tab and search for OpenSSH. Go ahead and install that. Next I'm going to open up settings and find my device's IP address. So that's in settings Wi-Fi. Now the server has automatically started and I can go to my computer and I can go ahead and SSH into root at IP address of that device. Enter. The default password for iOS devices is Alpine, all lowercase. Now I've got direct terminal access to the root of this iOS device, in my case an iPad. And that gives me almost unlimited power. I can go through, I can tweak settings. If you want to, you can check out my GitHub repository that I have more information if you're wanting to do this. Thanks for watching.